Hey guys, Gabi from UiPath Hacks here. Today's video is about determining dynamically different dates in UiPath. When extracting reports, you have to select a time window, and many times this window needs to be something like the last month or the last year. And you don't necessarily run the report on the first day of the current month, and you don't know if the last month had 28 or 31 days. This is a trick that once you are aware of would hopefully help you play around with dates faster in your projects. So to save time, I have already written the activities that are needed. Just for information, we start with today's date, but as we will see later on, this doesn't help us too much because we don't know how many days are between today and the first day of the month. So what we can do is actually try to get the first day of the current month. And there is a nice way to do this. We can just get the time of this year, this month, and overwrite the day with one. So this will return the first day of the current month. So once we know this, we can move on and get a bit closer to our target to determine the first day and the last day of the last month. So how can we get the first day of the last month? We can't subtract a fixed number because we don't know how many days the last month had. So what we can do is try to get there dynamically. Um, and the way to do that is try to get back exactly one month. And luckily there is a nice function that helps us do that. It's called add months and we can just subtract one. So just subtract one month. That will take us from the date of the current month, the same day in the last month. So we had the first day of the current month. By subtracting one month, we get the first day of the last month. All right, so we are halfway there. How can we get now the last day of the last month? Is it easier to get there from the first day of the last month or from the first day of the current month? Well, if we try to do it from the first day of the last month, again, we don't know how many days we have in between. But how many days are between the first day of the current month and the last day of the last month? Well, luckily, the answer is always one. So we have a function called add days, and we just have to subtract one from the first day of the current month. And that gets us the first or the last day of the last month. Hey guys, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you won't miss out on future content. Thanks. So that was it pretty much. And it was really rather easy. Um, but I just hope I gave you a quick hint on how to determine dates dynamically in your path. You can use the same logic to determine the first and the last day of the last year or of the last quarter. If you do calculate those, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button so you'd help me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you.